everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm excited to be here and do some more math with you today. Uh, this is one of my favorite lessons on equal parts and some of our shapes. So today you're going to need your shapes that we cut out on Monday. So you're going to need to have these with you so we can build some more different shapes and talk about equal parts. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so we can get started on lesson seven today. So our lesson today, our objective is that I can name and count shapes as parts of a whole and recognizing the relative size of each part. So it's basically saying that I can name the different shapes inside of an object and say whether they are the equal size, different sizes, or just what size they are inside of that shape. So the other day, we made different kinds of shapes using two or more of these tangram pieces. So I want you to think of any other shapes that we were able to make. Do you make anything else? See a lot down here. I want you to use two or more of your pieces to make a shape you can name. We made them go ahead and name them okay so did you make any of these shapes that I have on the screen mm -hmm. so right here you could have made this square with the small triangles you could have made this square with all of them you could have made this square and then you could have made this triangle like we had Another triangle, could have made a rhombus, you could have made a trapezoid, and you could have made another rhombus. So there's lots of different things that we could make, and you probably could have made something different from this. So we're going to work on being able to talk about the size of each object. What are some of the shapes on the chart we made with equal parts? Hmm. So equal parts mean that both sides are the equal. So if I'm looking at this, I could look at this top one right here. Well, I see that this was my two triangles, my two smaller triangles that I had put together. And I know that both those triangles, they were the same size. So are they two equal parts? Are they the same size? Oops, sorry, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write on here that this triangle has two equal parts because they're both triangles that are the same size put them together okay so then if i look at some of these ones well this one none of these are these two might be the same size right here these triangles but i'm looking at these ones they're not the same size so they don't have equal parts what about this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to start circling some of the ones that I see of equal parts. So I see there's one, two triangles, and all I did was have it, there's a square all the way on the outside, and I really just cut it in half, didn't I? From corner to corner, instead of side to side, I cut it from corner to corner, which means that it is equal. This one, this triangles, two triangles were equal sizes. This one was not. And this triangle has a lot of pieces in it right here. This one looks like it has this one and this one are the same size, but all the pieces in it are not equal. So I'm gonna cut it off. And if I look over here, I see one, two triangles. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the two triangles I put together, but I put them all together in different ways. But they're still the same size pieces. They're still the same pieces, just put together differently, like this. I put them together to make a, another triangle. So they are the same size if I were to put them on top of each other. So I'm gonna say yes, these are equal. Well, this square and triangle right here, they're nowhere close to being the same size. And then this one right here, hmm. Well, that's a parallelogram and that's a triangle. They're not the same shape, so they're not the same size. And then right here, I have three different shapes, and they're all not the same size. This one and this one are the same, but they're all not equal. 
okay? So today we're gonna to be working on finding equal parts. That means that the two pieces or however many pieces there are, are the same exact size. So what I want us to do is we're gonna look at this next slide right here, which I have a hexagon, okay? So how can we make this hexagon using smaller pattern blocks or pieces? So I showed you guys this hexagon the other day and I put a couple different things on it. Remember what I used? Mm -hmm. I could use a trapezoid and another trapezoid. Oh, and it completely covers it, doesn't it? And these two trapezoids are the same pieces, right? So I could say I could use one, two trapezoids. Are these two trapezoids equal parts? Mm -hmm, they're both the same size. So I have two pieces that are the same size. Let's check and see. Okay. We could also use, hmm, triangles. How many triangles do you think it's gonna take? I wanna put them together like they're pizza, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, so this six pieces can completely cover my hexagon. Wait a minute, if I take these off though, are these triangles the same size? I can stack them and they're the same size. So my pieces that I put together are equal sizes. So they are what? Well, they're equal parts, right? So I have six equal parts or equal triangles that will make a hexagon. I'm going to say equal parts. They're the same size. So you have to be able to have the same size. Think about it like if you have a piece of pizza, would you want to have different sizes? Maybe if you were getting a bigger piece, but you want to make sure you share them equally. So we're going to work on making them in equal parts of different shapes. Everyone say equal parts. Right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move into our problem set today. And for our problem set today, I'm going to work through a couple of them with you just so you guys have an idea of how to work them out. Okay. So here are our shapes and they're, I'm asking you, are they divided into equal parts? Write a Y for yes or an N for no. If the shape has equal parts, write how many equal parts on the line. The first one's done for you. So if you look right here, this square has been cut from corner to corner. This side, this triangle, is the same size as this triangle. So they put a Y right here, saying yes, they're the equal size. And we counted there is, let me count with you. There are one, two pieces. So let's look at the next one together. So if I look at this circle, this piece right here doesn't quite look like it's equal to this one. So I'm just gonna put an N right here because I know I wouldn't want this small piece because they're not equal. I wanna make sure my parts are equal. Let's look at number letter C, this triangle. Well, this triangle has two pieces, but this top one right here definitely looks smaller than this one on the bottom. So I'm gonna put them at N right here, or no, they're not equal. If I look down at D, look down at D. I see there are one, two, three, four pieces. And you know what? I think they're all equal. They all look like the same size rectangles inside of this. So it's yes, a Y for yes. And how many pieces did we count? One, two, three, four. 
go ahead and complete the last two on your own and see if you can tell me and understand why. I'm gonna give you about 10 more seconds to tell me if they're equal and how many parts they have if they are. Mm -hmm. All righty, let's look at E. So I see they're on one, two, and it looks like it goes straight down the middle and I would want either one of these pieces because they're equal. So I'm gonna put a yes for equal and a two for how many pieces. Over here on F, I could tell that there's one, two, three pieces. However, two and three are much smaller than one. So they are not all equal. So I'm just going to put an N, and it doesn't matter how many pieces there are because they're not equal. If I were to put a line going right here, then I would have more pieces, and they would all be equal. But it's not equal right now the way that they had cut them. So what I would like for you guys to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go on to the next page. And you guys go ahead and complete all of these. Similar to the way we just did it, I'm not gonna go over all of these for you. I want you guys to Take a look and see, are they cut equally? And how many pieces are there? If they are cut equally, then you can go ahead and complete number two. On number two, it says just write the number of equal parts in each shape. So all of these are cut equally, and I want you to count how many parts are in each shape. And lastly, when you're ready, you can move on to three, four, and five. You're going to draw two lines to make, oops, sorry, not all of them are two lines. So you're going to draw one line for number three to make this triangle into two equal triangles. Number four, you're going to draw one line to make the square into two equal parts. There's lots of different ways you can put a line through it. And then number five is I want you to draw a line to make the square into four equal squares. So remember, you want squares. And that would. So if you would like to complete these and then send me your work and I can check them. Um, working on equal parts. So remember to cut them and draw the lines equally. So I will see you tomorrow to talk about more equal parts.